hey everyone and welcome back to our channel in today's video we are going to show you how to create lists here in hubspot let's begin now the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials if this is your first time here in hubspot i need you to click the sign up option and from here just follow the on-screen instructions and you're good to go Creating lists in HubSpot is a straightforward process that allows you to segment your contacts for targeted marketing, personalized communication, and efficient management. Now, I'm going to exit this blog that I'm working right now and go. I'm going to go to the homepage. Now, once you are inside the homepage of your HubSpot account, navigate to the left side panel of your dashboard and click on CRM. And there's going to be an option for the list here. Click on that. Now, as you can see, you can use lists to segment by industry, size, location, value, or anything else you can imagine. All you have to do is click on the create list. Now, you have all of these multiple options. You can create a list of contact records on contact based, a cart based, company based, deal based, order based, ticket based, depending on your specific goals and your needs right now i'm just going to be looking for the uh, contact base i'm going to put in the list name as going to be deep laughs and description is going to be um something like i don't know like this and you see there is two types of lists here in the uh hubspot there is a static and an active list an active list is automatically updates over time and records will join or leave the list as their properties change. The statics is do not automatically update as your records change. A static list represents a single moment in time. All right, so it's up to you which one do you want to use. But for now, we're going to use an active list. I'm going to click on next here. Now, you see, you can test the contact if you wanted. You can click on search for example um it's gonna be a brian and maria johnson let's look for that and you can add a filter to start building your list if you wanted because this list doesn't have any filter you can search in the uh, filter categories like contact properties you know, date of last meeting books and e meeting tools first conversation first conversation date there's a lot that you can work with but why not choose on the owner and of course you can uh, delete this um filter if you don't want it right now for you to be able to move forward click on the uh, stops testing now just click on save list all right so you've successfully create list here that's one all right and as you can see, your list is processing and take a little while. And then on the CRM, you can go back to the list because you can edit the properties. All right. You have this option right here. You can have the invoice properties, list properties, and all of that. Of course, from the list properties, you can have more control over the information that you wanted here. All right. After that, go to the dashboard again. And then from here, you can import list as you go along. If you have more control over that, you can import contact, company, deal ticket, or product information into HubSpot. All right, you can start on import, or you can sync data between HubSpots and dozens of other apps. If you click on this, you have like, um, you can search all apps. We're going to have a separate video on how to um, integrate HubSpot to Google Contacts, Outlook Contacts, MailChimp, Stripe Data, QuickBooks, Shopify, Pipedrive, Zero, Airtable, Brevo, Zoho, and Aircom. Intercom, Ring Central, Active Company, and there's a lot more. But I'm just showing you how to create your own customized lists here in HubSpot. All right. So if you have an account here, you might want to use and leverage all of this so you can have a better active list of contacts through different qualification stages by creating lists that reflects the status or engagement level all right 
Now I'm going to exit this for now. I'm going back to the uh, CRM and going to the list again. Because we're going to create another type of list. We have created the uh, active earlier. We're going to create a static. Now, in this case, I'm going to be using a cart based. And I'm going to rename it this as deep laugh. Again. I'm going to choose the static because earlier we choose the active remember that static lists do not automatically update as your record chains a static list represents a single moment in time all right you want to click on next and again you can start adding filters and select the category here cart properties maybe um gonna be cart id click that and of course you need to add value it's equivalent to right and once you're happy with that all you're gonna do is click on save so you have now created lists which is active and static here on your account all right and again there is another option when you create the list wherein you can customize the create list forms let's do that so you can have uh, more options for you to do that for example, you wanted to have the list name, right? You can add properties like the owner here. You see that? It's been added. You have the description, list name, object type, and processing um, type. Go back again. You can add additional logic if you wanted. For example, this. Choose a property equals to admit the conditions. Choose an option here. You can also add a dependent property if you wanted. For example, if you choose a property, you are required to do this specific actions all right and if you don't want that click on cancel back to editing go back again here and once you're happy with that all you're gonna do is click on save and close all right that's how you basically create lists here in hubspot remember that creating lists in hubspots allow you to segment and manage your contacts more effectively leading to more targeted marketing better lead management and of course improve customer relationship management because you can organize contacts for specific campaigns or promotions ensuring that your messaging reaches the right audience at the right time and that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching we will see you again in the next video